which means it's time for our weekly box office report brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. It was an extremely close race for the number one spot at the box office this weekend, but the new film The Perfect Guy captured the top spot by just $1 million, taking in a reported $26.7 million. Coming in second place is the new M. Night Shyamalan thriller The Visit, bringing in $25.7 million. And the number three position is the faith-based film War Room, making an additional $7.4 million. In fourth place is the Robert Redford Nick Nolte film A Walk in the Woods, making $4.6 million. And rounding out the top five is the Tom Cruise film Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, adding an additional $4.1 million to bring its worldwide total up to $613 million. John, what stands out to you in this week's top five? I Well, first of all, I, I, I got to mention on our on Friday's show, we of course did our box office predictions, and I was $1 million mm-hmm. off from having a perfect Just five for five. Million? From a perfect five for five. I picked I picked the visit would actually come in number one just ahead of the perfect mm. guy. Uh, but perfect guy got in front of it. So my number three, four, and five spots were all right. So by one million dollars I was off. But um so great, great outing for the perfect guy. The visit Bloomhouse also has to be very happy with the visit. Five million dollar budget, ladies and gentlemen. Five in an era where nobody seems to know how to make a movie for under 180 million dollars. $5 million movie made twenty-six, almost $26 million on its opening weekend. Bravo for them. But the big thing that stands out to me, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation in the top five for the seventh week. Seventh right. week. Now, I think it's safe to say that run is about to come to an end. We've got Scorch Trials. We've got Black Mass. We've got Everest and yeah. not a wide, wide release. So that's going to end that. But great run for Mission Impossible. Couldn't have happened to a nicer movie. Uh, very happy for it. So, Schnepp, what stood out to you about the box office report? Uh, just all the old people. We got the visit <laughs> about some gra- crazy grandma and grandpa. Like, you know, like, you can't come outside at 930 because we get weird after that. <laughs> Pour juice on ourselves. And I don't know what the movie's about yet. I, I do want to see the visit. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I'm excited to see this kind of like I hope first that's person. exactly what it's about. Yeah, like, I think pouring the exact juice. same yeah. way. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a picture of like the old lady pouring something. I was like, what do they pour like cream of wheat on? I was like, got the clam chowder up. Woo! Or whatever. This soup is so good. <laughs> I hope the children aren't watching. Oh, they are. It's a super pervo, weird. It's not pervert. I just like to watch them with the clam chowder. But, uh, and then, and then grumpy than old juice. man three a walk in the woods <laughs> finally came out the old man jokey comedy with amazing actors but i heard the movie's like because eh, eh, it, yeah. it's just kind of it, it was it misses the mark i heard it's corny but i love those actors so i don't know all the critics were saying yeah but you know i still kind of half want to see it but that's a yeah old people ruled the box office yeah, yeah. i will definitely go see dennis um your wonderful production manager and mm. i both have a thing about like old people rocking on movies oh, like, nice. you know like the best exotic marigold hotels sure, in the but world those, were really good. Good. those are good yeah. movies it's just nice to see i there's something about it that i really like um so, but what struck out, it, it's funny because a couple of things, I thought there was, was a significant box office in a couple of ways. One, the return of, is it a Shyamalanaissance? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> he's he's had a couple of, um, you know, he did Way More Pines on TV. Right, that was um, fun. Yeah, but, it, but this is like a big hit for him, really, considering the cost of the production and the fact that it was a success, both with critics and you know, as compared to his audiences previous and really audiences yeah. as totally well. Too. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's sort of a really big deal, right? Yeah. Like, I think. Yeah. And then again, Tom Cruise, people, I think, were at the point that they were like, does this guy have it anymore? You know, although Edge of Tomorrow built over time. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, but Mission Impossible, certainly. Man, people love this franchise. And it's an unusual franchise for people to love these days, in a way, because it has absolutely nothing to do with superheroes. Right. right. Yeah. And, right. and, you know, I remember about maybe 10 months ago when the word first came out about the visit and M. Night was going to go work with Jason Blumhouse. And I remember thinking at the time, this is probably exactly what a dude like like uh, the sham hammer needs because yeah. when he, look he was no fluke sixth sense was no fluke he proved that by putting out a few other excellent movies unbreakable but as mm-hmm. the power went to his head he started believing his own press what was it time magazine did the cover article on him that kind of the next spielberg it said and he, he deified himself in his he movies really right. did he deified yeah. himself in his movies and there's that infamous story we talked about before where he had dinner with that executive from disney who had problems with the script and their shooting plans for lady in the water and mm-hmm. he was like I am M. Night Shyamalan. 
Warhammer. You shall not question me. And he left Disney and did and went on to make one of the worst films in Hollywood history with Lady in the Water. But I remember when this came out about 10 months ago thinking, this could be exactly what he needs. Get back under somebody like, like a Jason Blumhouse who is just killing it right, right now with his production company. Give him a, a minimum budget and say, you don't have all the power in the world here. And I think that really lets his creativity shine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I hope, I am like, I we joke around about the sham hammer all the time, but deep down, I am cheering for the guy. Same I'm here. He's because, a nice guy. Yeah. He's I mean, I don't know really if you guys nice have guy. interviewed him, but he's, he's so pleasant, you know, and certainly fans were unhappy with The Last Airbender, rightfully so. Um, but you're right, you know, like I love Unbreakable. You know, if he wanted to return to that, I even love signs before the last ten minutes. No, I, 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 even, last 10, I love you know, signs. You swing the bat, all that kind of weird <laughs> stuff with the water. Like this, this cup of water will destroy the aliens. Like, aside from that, so they're invading a planet yeah. seventy percent like, covered with yeah, water. Seventy five percent covered with water. But you know what's even weirder? Like, I like, I even like signs when it's like the newspaper and it's like folds and it's M Night. Yeah. Like he's like, and he's the one who tells him go to the water. It's like yeah. there's something about that that I, I got, I still get a kick out of. So yeah, it's like fifty, yeah, like half his movie. Movies I love, half yeah. of the movies I, I hate. So it's like that's a that's a pretty good ratio. When you're, you're not talking about some people, it's just, just that all know. the movies we've hated of his have all come in a row, yeah. which is which has kind of been the problem. Right. But you're right, Unbreakable, <laughs> Signs, the, the the happening. That's the one for me that I started to go. Mm. No, no, no. That, no. That's I'm the saying one where people run no, no, away for no, no. I'm, I'm thinking the village. Like, sorry, I'm, I'm the saying, happening was horrible. I'm sorry. saying <laughs> of the movies that came in a row that we did oh, yeah, not like right. the happening. Well, the, the happening all time. It, uh, the trees are angry. Yeah. The trees. Yeah. yeah. The wind. People so are good though. Mark Wahlberg argues with a ficus. Like if you yeah. haven't seen this in the same way that you watch the room, which is drunk and whatever else you do, perfect drink responsibly. It's amazing. Do you remember that scene where they walk into that cabin? It's like him and I, who's it was a Zoe Deschanel who was with them. I can't yeah. remember. And like, and there's some plants in the house. He's like, we're not here to cause any harm. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. He's like, he's like at a certain point, he's like, hey, Ficus, I don't want any trouble here. And it's like a plastic plant. And he's like, oh, it's plastic. But I remember it was, it was sometime, I can't remember it was, this might have even been before The uh, the Last Airbender or might have been just after. But that movie Devil was coming out. That yeah, he was yeah. just right. producing. He didn't direct right. it. He was producing it. And I remember this was the total change of tide when it came to M. Night with, with the audience. It was like, I was in a theater that trailer played devil, and then near the end of the trailer, from producer M. Night Shyamalan, and the whole theater laughed. Yeah. yeah. They laughed. It's like, that's, that's, that's it weird. then. When they started taking done. his name off of some of the films, I think it was like Earth, what was the uh, Will the, Smith With one? the Will Smith Return movie? Return to Earth. Uh, Return to Earth. After Earth. Eight. After it was Earth. After Earth. After, yeah. Yeah. after Earth. That's and they started taking, yeah, they started yeah. being like Will Smith and this other guy that you used to know, right. you know, yeah, directed I, I mean, it. But you know what? I hope this is the beginning of a resurgence for him. Yeah. Because like I said, he's no, one film is a fluke. Three or four really good ones is no fluke. He's got talent. I really hope we get to see some more good too. stuff from him. And I gotta say, I, the Shyamalan? The Shyamalan the um, Shyamalan but I also <laughs> love Tom Cruise. And I like I, I really do. And I, I loved him in, I mean, whatever his like, personal, I have no idea. But um, I loved this Mission Impossible movie. I'm excited oh, that he's doing Reacher. this well. Jack Reacher. I, I love loved Reacher. Edge of Tomorrow. Edge you of know? Tomorrow. So good. So good. But yeah. also notable in the last five weekends is that the top movies, I think it's for five weekends in a row that the number one movie has been African-American led. That's also, I that's think, awesome. a, a notable thing that's that's gone on in the box office. I think true. so. Well, yeah. well, it, went, it went from... Um, the NWA biopic, mm -hmm. right. Sheridan Compton, and then War Room War took Room. over for this. So NWA was two weeks in a row. Then War Room took over for one week, and so maybe it's four. Maybe weeks. it's it's four or five. I'll have to yeah. look that up. But no, you're right. Yeah, I can't right. remember yeah. that ever happening before. Yeah. Good observation.